Hi everyone, here is a simple but tricky number based question which appeared recently in uh, the CAD exam. In fact, the similar question can be asked even in other exam. So let's look at how to solve this particular question. Um, so the actual question goes like this. If n and x are positive integers such that n raised to n is equal to 2 raised to 160 and n square plus 2 raised to n is an integral multiple of 2 raised to x and that's why we had written is q into 2 raised to x. So we need to find out the largest possible value of x. Okay, so let's see how to solve this question. First of all, we need to find out value of n. So we are told that n raised to n is equal to 2 raised to 160. Definitely here the base and the power are same. So I need to make this base and power equal. So what we can do is definitely we'll have to raise this number and we'll have to reduce the power. So let's assume that we are raising this base to the power x. So definitely this power will be divided by x and we need to make this base and power equal. So let's start taking different values of x. I'm sure with a little trial and error, you can make out that one will not work because 160 by one is definitely not equal to two raised to one. If you take two, that will also not work because 160 by two is 80 while two raised to two is just four. So similarly, you don't need to take three because 160 is not divisible by three. So you try for four, five, and you will realize that five is the value that satisfies this condition because two raised to five is 32 and 160 divided by 5 is also 32. So I can say this will become 32 raised to 32. You know, many of you might have quickly figured out this thing, okay, 2 raised to 160 is nothing but 32 raised to 32. So it completely depends about your calculation speed. So now we have got value of n. Let me use some different color. So now we have got value of n as 32. So let's look at the next part of the question. So now we are told that n square plus 2 raised to n is an integral multiple of 2 raised to x. So can I say n square means 32 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to n that is 2 raised to 32 is an integral multiple say it is q times 2 raised to x where q is an integer. Okay. So we are asked to find out the maximum possible value of x this one. So that means we need to identify the maximum power of 2 that can be taken out as a common factor over here. So can I say 32 raised to 2 is nothing 32 is what 2 raised to 5. So 2 raised to 5 whole raised to 2. So this is nothing but 2 raised to 10. So 32 raised to 2 can be written as 2 raised to 10 plus this 2 raised to 32 as it is. In fact, 2 raised to 32 can also be written as 2 raised to 10 into 2 raised to 22, which is equal to Q into 2 raised to X. So you can easily make out that 2 raised to 10 can be taken out as a common factor. So you'll be left with 1 plus 2 raised to 22. Definitely this is going to be an integer, which is equal to Q into 2 raised to X. So I can say Q is equal to this part and x has to be equal to 10. So answer to this question is 10. Yes, so this is the answer. I really hope you would have found it interesting. Do let me know in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button and please share it with all your friends. Apart from that guys, this offer is going on. So don't forget to use code chart 10 when you go for plus or iconic subscription. The new batches are coming up. So stay tuned and keep learning. That's it.